Hi guys and welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta and today I'm going to be showing you a way to use your spare drills to cover some coasters. Here I've just got some old coasters. They were a bit worse for wear. They've you know, been scrubbed up a few times and I'm going to use these as the base. The first thing to do is get yourself a roll of double-sided sticky tape. Um, I found that this is the best way for me to do it. Um, doesn't involve using a ton of glue or anything. So we're just gonna cut that more or less to size and lay it across the whole of the coaster. If you wanted to do this strip by strip, there's no reason why you couldn't. Um, but I prefer to just do the whole thing in one go. So ensure that that's really stuck down well. Um, if you've got a roller that you use for your diamond painting, this is a perfect time to get some use out of it. I'm then gonna trim off the excess around the edge and then we'll be more or less ready to go. You can now start to peel off the cover paper on the double-sided sticky tape. Um, I found this easiest to do using a pair of tweezers. Um, most of us have a pair, of pair or two of tweezers that have come with various kits. Um, some sticky tapes are easier to peel off than others. Just much like with a double-sided canvas, be careful that you are not peeling the whole thing off. You're only peeling off the top layer, not the sticky itself. So now we've got our old coaster completely covered with our double-sided sticky. And now we can start decorating. So to decorate the coaster, we're going to be using up some spare drills. On this occasion, I've opted for round drills. Um, it would work with square. Um, I think round drills work best for these style of coasters just because they've got rounded corners um, and the round drills sit better. I have been collecting my drills that don't have DMC and these are the first ones that I'm using up for these projects. 
you could plan out a complete design, but what I'm doing here is I've chosen two complementary colours, this kind of turquoise and a bright blue. And I'm just going to shake them up together in the same tray, not worrying about whether they are particularly evenly mixed. I'm just letting the random happen, um, giving myself over to whatever is in the tray. And then I'm going to start by using a 10 placer um, to make a line of drills straight across the coaster. Obviously, I've chosen to go straight across. You don't have to. If you want to go diagonally or to make patterns, at this point, the world is your oyster and you can create any pattern that you want. Um, I'm just doing this because I like the way the end result looks and it's a quick but still satisfying craft to do. If you are opting for straight lines, it is really worth spending the time on your first line to make sure that your first one is straight because then this can act as a buffer for your other lines to butt up against. And if this line is crooked, then they'll all be crooked. Although nobody will know that you didn't mean to do that. You can tell them that that's obviously what you were supposed to be doing and you definitely didn't want straight lines. So what I've done here as a guide as well is slightly use the edge of one of the pieces of double-sided sticky as a guide because that's already a straight line. So I've used that to help me put my first line in place. I'm now going to use a second tray with a second set of complementary colours. Um, here I've gone for, um, it's a dark navy colour, a sort of a pale minty aqua colour and then also a hot pink. I'm going to mix these all up together just like the last lot so they're all mixed together in the one tray If you feel like you've got some patches where there's too much of one colour, you can, of course, you know, shake the tray up again, get them mixed together however you want. Um, but the whole point of this method is that it allows a nice random selection of drills and you're not having to work with lots of different trays with lots of different colours. So that's the first two lines of colours in place. Now it's just a matter of going along, adding more lines to fill up the whole of the coaster. I've decided to alternate between the predominantly blue tray and the predominantly pink tray. But again, creativity is entirely up to you. This is your opportunity to create custom coasters that nobody else will have.
as you complete sections, it's well worth giving the drills a roll just to make sure that they are pushed down nicely into the double-sided sticky and they're not going to pop up or cause any problems. Remembering, of course, that we are going to be setting a cup on this and um, you, of course, don't want it to be lumpy or unstable. And now I think it's time for a little time lapse. And then, once you're completely finished, give it a nice coat of Mod Podge. I use the gloss version, which is the same one that I use if I ever seal diamond paintings. And then you can see, although it goes on white, it dries clear. And you're left with a gorgeous, unique, one-of-a-kind cup mat. So, do let me know if you give this a try. Thanks so, so much for watching. Please do consider leaving a like, subscribe, become a member of the Crafty Coven, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.